What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, here with a new video, I'm gonna show you guys how to uh, pin your harmonic balancer. So pretty much, if, um, if you work on EMD4 or whatever, you know that the harmonic balancer is pressed in into the crank, but once you start getting into high RPM, uh, high horsepower, the crank bolts start coming loose, and then the harmonic balancer just start moving around. So we're gonna be, um, installing this pin into the uh, harmonic balancer um, some guy named Chris um, man I got his name right here hold up he, he made a jig for um, for the pin and I'll show you here in a minute um, his name is Chris Lister I think that's how you say his last name anyways he um, he made this thing you know, with a hole in it, and then the the bolt is notch. So pretty much, you line these two up like so, and then of course you put it on here on your crank, and then you can drill it too, and then you put your um, your pin. If you don't have the jig, you can always get a crank bolt and get somebody to drill you a hole like right in the center of this right and then you can use your crank bolt as a guy and then you drill your hole uh, the pin you can find it online um, I was doing some measurements on the pin I, I bought extra pins because I got a, a, a few engines that I've done this before so I, um, when I bought the jig I ordered like four or five pins but um, you can find them online I did a measurement on the pin and uh, I literally went just to Google I searched the, the diameter of the pin and then I found it let me uh, measure this real quick so the pin is let me see if I can stick this thing somewhere over here okay so the pin is 316 thick and it is about like three quarters long so you put those measurements on Google you can find this pin so pretty nice works pretty good uh, this is the engine is going to Cano so I'm gonna go ahead and press this in and then uh, start drilling those now <clears throat> this is the tool that I'm using oh come on that no sticker or whatever but I'm pretty sure you can find this also online it's just a regular um, harmonic balancer install installation kit uh, unfortunately I don't have the part number but uh, I'm pretty sure you can find it online if not I go ahead and google it in a little bit um, and get you the part number so anyways you put your bolt here I put some washers because this threads they're not long enough so if you go at it without the washers, I got three, um, you will run out of room on the uh, threads and then the, the harmonic balancer will not be installed all the way flush. Let me get some tools and let me go ahead and start putting that on. All right guys. So I've got the uh, jig set up right here, right? And then um, you're gonna have to get your drill bit. Um, and your pin. So here's my drill bit. And this is how deep I need to go. So you pretty much gonna measure your pin and then the spacer on that thing. So. <clears throat> They sell some fancy like little stoppers you can get or whatever, but this works just fine. So pretty much you put your dribble here and then the size of the pin and that's how much you're gonna drill. If you don't have the jig and you're gonna make your own jig with the bolt, like I said earlier, then you can do that too. And of course, you just have to measure the deep, the, the, the distance of the bolt plus the pin and that's how much you're gonna, you're gonna drill. So, you want to put a little bit of uh, WD-40 or uh, PV Blaster 
make the cut smoother. So we're gonna do that. And then we start drilling. So it's not too hard. This jig makes it, makes it a lot easier. But like I said, you can probably do it with the crank bolt too. So let's go. Let me set up the camera right here so I can start drilling. Cut it. All right, so finally went through. I had to go to a smaller one and then the big one because I guess the bit, I use it quite a bit and uh, it's not cutting anymore. But I think we got it. Now we're gonna remove this and check to make sure the hole is good. So you end up with something like that. And then we can go ahead and put our pin. Wait, it's out here somewhere. There you go. So This should go here, pretty tight. So, it's looking pretty good. It's a little bit tight, so I'm gonna go a little bit again with the, uh, I mean, I can, I can at this point just push it in. But let me try to make it a little bit loser just a little bit you don't want it too loose um and then let you go right in so let me uh, pull it off because i was banging on it i had the measurements on here wrong i actually had to go a little bit more that's why the pin wasn't sliding all the way in but pretty much this is what you end up with you know the pin and it's flush so once you put your crank bolt this is going to be under the crank bolt and it's not going to come out um this one uh, i put it on and it went kind of like tight so if i get a magnet it, it won't it won't come out so you want it you want to you know you want it tight again the drill bit that you're going to be using is 316 for this for this type of pin um, if you get a different pin or different size, then you know you go from there. But that's what we're using right now. So now, if I can find the crank bolt, if we put the crank bolt, you can see how the crank bolt sits right here, and it will cover the pin. So like that, the pin will not slide out uh, once you, you know, drive in the car or um, racing or whatever. And then the pin is gonna hold the harmonic balancer in place so it won't it won't it won't rotate in the crank so like that you know the bolt doesn't come loose 
and, and or you damage the crank at the end because whenever these things move it's super hard to fucking get them out and the crank gets damaged um this crank had a little bit of um, uh damage on it not nothing too crazy but it has some damage on it um where previous uh build um the harmonic balance would move so now with this it should be solid and good to go with no problem i don't know what the fuck i did with the crank over. come on man i was just you know using it for the video i was showing it and now i don't know where i put it Oh, a bunch of shit everywhere. So, um, yeah, let me find the, the let me find the crank bolt so I can show you how it's gonna look with the crank bolt. It's like you're not even gonna see the pin anymore. It's gonna be, it's like it's no pin in it. All right, guys, finally found the bolt. I actually went back in the video and see what I put. I put the bolt, and it was like right under here. So this fucking bolt was hiding. Anyway, I need to clean that shit. It's not even like cooler and shit. Anyway, so you know, use your crank bolt put it on, tighten it up, and pretty much the pin is gonna sit behind it. So let me uh, let me tighten it up real quick to show you guys how it looks when it's tight. Of course, this is, I'm just gonna tighten it up for the video. I'm gonna go back and tuck it down or whatever. So this is all the way tight and it's nowhere i mean you can't see the pin anywhere all right so that's gonna hold the pin in place so you know so you don't have any problems with this thing coming loose there so like i say this pin is pretty much flush and you can see how how thick the harmonic balancer is so even if you go a little bit a little bit past the flush mark, you're still gonna be fine. Now, I don't know what's gonna happen when you remove this and want to line it up, because that's gonna be a pin in the ass. You will have to put a guy here and some special tools and shit, but we'll figure that, we'll figure that out later. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Same, right there, flush. Don't forget to put you some thread locker right here, and then put it back in, and then I'm gonna tighten this. This is for the uh, tool to remove this type of uh, harmonic balancer. So, so yeah, that's how you do a pin in your harmonic balancer, and that can work on anybody, uh, on any harmonic balancer. A stock one, or that one, or anything that you're gonna put on this, you wanna put a, a pin on it, because there's been so many times that uh, the clutch start vibrating or whatever, that thing start coming loose, and the whole harmonic balancer comes loose, um, or, just for the fact with the RPM that you're running, the horsepower, that thing start moving. And once they're moving, the bolts start moving with it, and then it comes loose, and it's a whole a whole mess. Um, you know, everything starts vibrating, you can damage the crank and all that other stuff. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's it. This engine is gonna go to Iowa, to Kano, hopefully uh, this week, if not the beginning of next week. And then, hopefully we see a nine second pass out of the, the engine with, with Kano behind the wheel so that's it for this video i uh, hope you like it and like i say if you have the jig you can always use the crank bolt you just have to make a, a hole um, on the crank bolt and use that as a guide and then that's it i give you the measurements for the pin so you can order them online literally you can buy them online and you can buy a pack of 10 for like uh, three dollars or so and then you can do this on any motor that you work on so Neons doesn't have a keyway for the harmonic balancer, so it's kind of like Preston. So with this, you make your own keyway. I know DCR makes one where you put a little uh, ball, um, like a, a bearing ball or whatever on the top, and then the machine that, and then put a line in the, in the inside, and then you can put it in. It's pretty nice too, but you know, you have to pay for doing that and all that shit. This one you can do it yourself and save some money. And it does the same thing so don't forget to like subscribe and let us know if you like the videos or if you want to see something new and then we can try to make it happen so into next one peace